and if you let's say email them saying hey i don't like this accommodation they wouldn't care the sad and lonely road harry potter vibe especially the dining hall and it was a wednesday night people were playing music over there drama is there so it really depends if you get answered park you're the luckiest person on earth believe me okay i would have just ran back home <laughs> but it's winter there so doesn't work out please don't get offended that's just my opinion which is not the safest what to say oh shit okay she calls me day and night Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm guessing that you're coming to University of Manchester to study. Congratulations on your offer. Next step is going to be to find an accommodation, which becomes a daunting task for a lot of people. I can understand, but if you're applying for uni accommodation, this will be the video for you. I'll tell you everything that I know about the uni accommodation. I've lived there for one year, and in fact, in the second year, I'm going to live there again. And I'll also give you a brief about the private accommodation if you should choose a uni accommodation or private accommodation. So, let's go. Let's get straight to the point and the kind of accommodation that are available at University of Manchester. So the university doesn't actually own any accommodation. It has rented out various accommodations near the university, and it is managed by the university itself. The first thing to look at is the bathroom. So you have the option of an ensuite bathroom or a shared bathroom. Now think about it. Do you necessarily need an ensuite, a private bathroom, or can you also manage with shared bathroom? Because another aspect that comes into place is catered or self-catered. As far as I know, most of the uni accommodations, if they are en suite, they also only have a self-catered option. So if you're someone who knows you will definitely not cook and you don't want to eat outside all the time, then you will have to go for the catered option. In which case, you might have to settle with a shared bathroom. So these are two things that you first need to figure out to finalize the accommodation that you want to apply for. <laughs> One important thing is that you actually do not have control over which accommodation you get, which can be quite frustrating. I also don't know why they do this, but you, you gotta do what you gotta do. So in this scenario, what you basically do is university will send you a link, and you have to select your top five choices. Once you give that to the university, they will randomly allocate you one of those. In fact, they also do not guarantee that they will give you any of those top choices. You might also just get a random one of them. They will try to get you any five of them. But if you don't get it, and if you let's say email them saying, "Hey, I don't like this accommodation," they wouldn't care. Honestly, the accommodation team in the University of Manchester is super strict with it. If you want to change your accommodation, it's a very very hard task, and you are at the risk of losing the accommodation you already have. So even I don't know what to do about it. It's all based on your luck. So I'm sorry if you don't get the accommodation that you really want. I personally got. I don't know how. I got super lucky. I got the best accommodation that is, which is Anzhou Park, which I will tell you more about. But let's get to the next part, which is the campuses. So there are essentially three campuses around the university. The first one is the city center campus, which is the closest to the university. In fact, it's almost like a five to ten minutes walk every day. So if you want to stay in close proximity to the university, then you can apply for accommodations which are in the city center campus. That area is not known to be that social. Or like that many parties aren't happening there. However, if you want to go to the library, it's just a ten minutes walk away. Second is the Victoria campus, so it is in the middle of city center and the third campus which is there. Victoria Park, I personally feel like it's not safe. I I think a lot of people do like it as well. I would never want to live there. I feel like it's unsafe when you at night, especially because you have to walk through. a very sad and lonely road and in uk it gets dark pretty soon during the winters which is most of the time when you have to walk alone to your accommodation that can be quite haunting honestly so i would suggest not applying for the victoria campus accommodations however most of the catered accommodations that there are are actually located in the victoria campus um for example hume hall i'll attach a list over here itself but i would say one thing that those accommodations have is a sort of community because they have catered hall i guess that is why a lot of people meet in the dining halls and they create friendships from that and a lot of groups are created there but also a lot of drama is there so it really depends i mainly i just don't like the area altogether toria park is i would say around 
7 to 10 minutes by bus if you're living in victoria campus or in fallowfield campus you have to have to get a bus pass a bus pass is 300 pounds that you get for the whole year and you can get on and get off the bus as many times as you want so no one really walks from victoria park to the university you have to get a bus pass i also find it inconvenient so there's only a number 50 bus that goes from victoria park to the university and it actually doesn't drop you right at the center of the university it drops you at the back of like the engineering building i suppose so i don't know i as you can clearly see i do not like victoria park but if you get it that's okay i'm sorry <laughs> it's good as well um i think the accommodation is good in terms of like people that's it so if you are someone who already lives in university and you have a victoria park please don't get offended that's just my opinion which is not the safest what is it oh shit okay then lastly is the Fallowfield campus where I lived and even in my second year I'm going to live there. It's the furthest from the campus which is why in the second year a lot of people shift nearer to the university in the city centre. But Fallowfield campus is around 15 minutes but sometimes it can go up to 20-25 minutes in traffic by bus to the university. Again you can get a bus pass. Everything with a 4 goes to the university and it leaves you at the student union which I quite like. So I absolutely love the Fallowfield campus. So within the campus there are like 7 to 8 accommodations that are situated within the campus i mean i feel quite safe even if it's 3 a.m 4 a.m whatever it is as long as i'm within the campus it is quite safe outside of the campus it might not be that safe to just go alone at night but every time you walk out of you know your room there are all students around so you get that friendly like community vibe the Valfield campus is also quite beautiful i mean it's i mean it does have a lot of flowers and trees around but it's winter there so doesn't work out or someone who can just put on music and doesn't mind anything else because that's what i do i said it in one of my videos as well i quite romanticize the whole journey and put in like nice music and just reach there but if you absolutely know that you don't want to travel at all then yeah you will probably have to go with something closer to the city center but this is more of like a just what areas you can choose lastly fallowfield is considered i think fallowfield as well as the victoria park are the more social one if you're looking for a social life then you cannot live in the city center in the first year fallowfield campus is quite lively and i think victoria park also keeps hosting a lot of like events wherein you can go so yeah now let's talk more specifically with the accommodations. so i will not be able to give you an idea of every accommodations some of the fallowfield campus accommodations i can give you a brief about and the life that is there in fallowfield campus itself i have the list with me so let's go so a disclaimer so for me the accommodation matters a lot like top mainly because the room that i'm living in sets the vibe and like my own mood so that is why one thing that i don't mind spending that much money on is the accommodation but if i know a lot of people if you are someone who can adjust and it doesn't matter where you live as much you don't necessarily have to go for the most expensive option all of these are also quite decent you won't get the interior like a private accommodation but still don't just because i'm saying that they're decent or like that that it doesn't mean that they're bad or anything it's just for me it matters a lot that's why i'm saying it that way okay firstly there's ashburn hall so ashburn hall is catered and it has a shared bathroom it's pretty i think it's one of the oldest of university of manchester accommodation it gives a huge like harry potter vibe especially the dining hall so in that sense it is quite vintage and nice again if you if you want are looking for something modern there are only a few options in uni accommodation but it's nice it has a piano if that matters i think rest like you can see from the photos itself um if you like it or not then secondly oak house a second of silence for oak house okay it's the most infamous one no one prefers to live there it is the cheapest one though since it's so cheap they have literally reduced the size of the room to so less that apparently it's known for looking like a jail or like feeling like a jail i don't know but the worst thing about oak house i feel like is there always a party going on i was in like Woolton house and I, there were like djs playing it was a wednesday night people were playing music over there so loud that you listen to the music from another accommodation see honestly you don't have much of a choice as to like which accommodation you get right but i'll still give you a brief about it oak house would not be the best option if you get oak house then you can consider a private accommodation as well unless you are very very tight on budget then it's okay as well i think you can manage it but yeah oak house is again it is catered and it has a shared bathroom third is richmond park again it is very similar richmond and chevron i think the, the rooms look quite similar it's self-catered and ensuite 
it's it's decent it's okay then there's Woolton Hall which is again it is catered and it has a shared bathroom again it's decent it's good uh, you can form a community there there's a nice common room with like pool and all and also uh, it has a nice garden like I think they're quite beautiful then lastly uh, Amsworth Park which is where I live and I absolutely love it so the interior is actually the best out of every accommodation uni accommodation that University of Manchester has it's Amsworth Park if you get Amsworth Park you're the luckiest person on earth believe me okay I feel like if I hadn't gotten Amsworth Park I would have just ran back home <laughs> Quite modern from inside, um, it's ensuite and it is catered. The kitchen is quite huge, so 10 people share it. It might seem like, oh my god, how do 10 people share it? But it, it was quite okay with me, maybe because I didn't go to the kitchen that much. There are three fridges, they're like divisions, the cabinets are quite huge. There's a sofa and you have space to walk. There's a whole dining table and like the view is spectacular. So, Anzwet Park is heaven believe me the only disadvantage that it has is that it is the furthest from the bus stop so you have to take like a 10 minutes walk every time you want to go anywhere but other than that the best accommodation you can get there is also Atli House, which is actually one of the new accommodations as well, like Unsworth Park. And I haven't visited it, but as far as I know, the interior is again quite modern. It has a cafe and a bar below it, and it has a lovely study space. So if you want something modern, then Unsworth Park and Atli House would be the option for you within Fallowfield campus. And if you are still confused as to like which one would be the best option, you can actually DM me on Instagram. I can maybe help you with the same. I would say all of them are decent. The best way for you to know is just look at the pictures that the university has provided. They are quite accurate, honestly. Same goes for the city centre. I'll attach the list here. The city centre campus, Denmark is actually considered the best. In fact, a lot of people crave for like Denmark Park and uh, the university actually rarely gives. Interior is the most modern out of every like city centre campus and it is genuinely super close to the university so you have a lot of convenience over there the market street is super close uh people who live in the city center don't generally get a bus pass you can cycle if you want to although it's quite cold to actually cycle but city center would be a good option for you if you are studious and you want to be closer to the library for sure okay so i'll answer uh, some frequently asked questions about university first one is if you found the one you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah.